Political settlements themselves are not constructive or not constructive. Political settlements is just a description of the distribution of organizational power in, in a country, um, spe specifically the organizations which will be affected by a particular policy. So some political settlements make some kinds of industrial policy easy to implement. Right? So in, in East Asia you had political settlements where big firms like Chebol in South Korea could be given massive amounts of, of rents and yet they couldn't capture that. And they had to perform. If they didn't perform, the rents were reallocated, or the, in some cases, even plants were reallocated to other chebol. When South Asian countries tried those kinds of big rent allocations through tariff controls, through subsidized credit, and so on, the outcome was it wasn't just the design of the policy was, was not very good. It was totally inconsistent with the political settlement. So you have very big, powerful, well-connected companies getting access to, to these rents and then spending their, uh, their effort in perpetuating that rent, right? Instead of putting in the effort in, because they, they, as I was saying earlier, the process of effort in raising competitiveness is very hard and difficult and the price is very small. The compulsion was missing in South Asia.